Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to the All About Favorite channel. I'm your host, Pastor KZ. So many people now are calling me Auntie KZ. That's okay, too. Don't forget at the end of the video, comment, like, and share the video. This week's attire, I'm doing in-school, in-state rivalries from the state of Florida. And today, I am representing Florida State University. This is a rivalry game between the Florida Gators, which I wore yesterday, and their game, like the FAMU BCU game, is held the last week or the week before Thanksgiving in November. So, go Seminoles. That's my school, y'all. That is my school. Also, for the eyewear, as I stated, please, at the end of the week, go ahead and um, rank each piece of eyewear that you liked this week. Rank this for me. I'm trying to get it narrowed down now. Y'all, today is Tell the Truth Thursday slash Confession Day. I'm going to get right into it. And our topics all the week has been relationship material. Email number one. And I'm going to just read excerpts from several emails today. Dear Aunt TKZ, how dare these dusty blank men say we need to bring loyalty, respect, Submiss and submissiveness to the table. When those are the last traits they bring, I simply just know I'm not relationship material right now. At the age of 35, I have a master's degree, my own home. I'm just not ready for some of these men. They seem to bash women of color, yet women of other races are not required to bring all this stuff to the table. Just saying. <clears throat> Well, thank you, niece, for writing that. What say you? Email number two. Hey, auntie, I'm a 36-year-old man here. I choose to date older women. Okay, I hear you, nephew. I like older women because they're more settled, they're loyal, and they are not so hung up on material possessions. I don't know. Here's a confession. Maybe I do like older women because they kind of mother me and nurture me. Thanks, nephew, for the email. Email number three. Hey, Aunt TKZ, where on earth can you find women with half the qualities that you talked about the other day? In your voice, I'm going to say this. Girl, bye. These women are money grabbers, clout chasers, fake hair, fake nails, fake body, thirst traps. I get so sick of them all over social media and IG, especially the old ones. They over 40, done hit the wall, not to mention them chicks over 50. Sit down, aunties. I, along with many of my friends and other men, feel like, who gonna wife these old bags? Who going to wife a woman over 40 or a woman in her 50s and she around here looking like she 25? Girl, bye. Okay. He says, if they are not pushing a whole lot of money and, and taking care of me, all I look at is this just a thirsty old broad. Wow. Wow. Y'all heard that? He says, they're just thirsty old bras, thirst traps. They need to go put on some age-appropriate clothes and stop trying so hard. You look in a hot mess out there, aunties. Oh, wow. Wow. Y'all, he not the only one feel that way. Number four email excerpt. Pastor KZ, longtime subscriber here. I'm the ex-wife of your original boy by fame. Finally, girl, I hear from you again. Thank you for writing. She says, you know, after we got divorced, we started dating again. Yeah, I remember that email where y'all was doing that. As hard as I tried to forget the pain of him cheating and getting a child on me, I just couldn't forget. I just got to admit it, Pastor Casey. I just couldn't get past it. I realized that the love I once had for him had shifted. I no longer was in love with him, and I no longer trusted him, and you were right. Where there is no trust, it's pretty much hard to have a relationship. So we own, the only thing now that we can agree to disagree on is that we share three adult children. So I'm good with just being away from him from a relationship standpoint, but he still keeps trying, but I got a confession, Pastor KZ. Guess what? I got a man now. 
and he brings something to the table that I needed for so long. And that is honesty. Thank you, sis, for that. Y'all heard her. He needed to bring honesty to the table. And that's what she was seeking from a relationship. Excerpt number five. Hey, Auntie slash Pastor KZ. I'm a 47-year-old woman. I'm beginning to realize something about myself since I found your channel. Every show you've done has triggered me. You know, the, the ones about the shows about re regrets, buyer's remorse, and soulmates, those shows you did took me somewhere. I hope and pray that you go back and do part twos to those topics. Well, about me, I realized something. I don't like men. You don't? Really, girl? Hold on, Pastor KZ, before you give me that look. I don't mean like that. I just don't like them because every man I have had has been a disappointment. He's lied to me, cheated on me, beat on me. But every single relationship I've been on, and I'm beginning to think I'm part of the problem. I believe you're right. I need to work on me first. I'm no in no way ready to be involved with somebody. I got too much baggage, and I'm too broken to be in a relationship. And I agree with you, Pastor Casey. I am going to have to peel back the layers of myself and understand why I choose to be in relationships with low vibration and bad behavior men. You're right. This topic is needed. I'm not relationship material, Pastor Casey. Thank you for that awakening. Y'all, thank you so much for these excerpts of these emails I shared with you all today. What do you think? Are you relationship material? Do you hear the things people are saying? Keep watching. Get yourself focused. Bring your life into balance. And you know what? It's time for you to start telling the truth. Even if it's on yourself, tell the truth. We got some people here who admit it. They're really not ready for a relationship. Get yourself in balance. And I'll see you back tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow.